So we'll start off a, a review for chapter seven with this word problem. So read through this, pause the video if you need to, and try to distill all of this into symbol notation. You guys will, I'm sure, take notice of the fact that a couple of times I said something about variance and other times I said something about standard deviation. So when you distill it all down, here's the symbols or the notation that you should have on all of this. Note over here with the turkey, I gave you variances. With standard deviation, uh, or with the cranberry sauce, I gave you standard deviations. Okay, so from this data right here, the first thing I would do is take both of these standard deviations and convert them to variances. So the variance for cranberry sauce on the calories is 35 squared, which is 1225. And the variance for sodium is 10 squared, which is 100. I would immediately write that down because you remember that all the formulas deal with variance rather than standard deviation. And that will just help keep you from getting confused on that part. Now here are the questions that I want to ask. First of all, I don't really care for cranberry sauce, but I am polite, so when offered, I'll eat a little bit. I ate a half a cup of cranberry sauce. I really like turkey, so I had two cupfuls of that. What's the expected number of calories I got from those two parts of my Thanksgiving meal? And the second part is, what's the variance for the number of calories? And to find the variance, find the, the two parts separately, and then combine those things together. So do the first question, or the first bullet first. Of course, if you're watching the video, just pause it and move on when you're ready.